Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Specialist Maths video looking at sample means and confidence intervals. Today we're looking at YouTube and the way we can look at mean and standard deviation and work out some things using our calculator or Excel. So, we could think about the age of a YouTuber. According to some articles, uh, the mean is approximately 27. One article said 26.64 years old is the mean YouTuber, in case you didn't know that. And a standard deviation of 12.6 years, I just made that up. I don't actually know the measure of spread for the age of YouTubers. Uh, let's just pretend we're going to take a sample of 70 YouTubers at random. Uh, and let's determine the probability that the mean age of these YouTubers is between 24 and 30 years. So to understand this, you need to realize that there's a whole, a whole population of YouTubers and there is also a sample being taken. So a number of these YouTubers we're going to look at, just a sample. So they, their sample mean is not necessarily the same as the overall population mean. And we're trying to figure out if that sample mean is within this range of, um, what was it, 23 to 31? 24 to 30, sorry. Some notation to think about. So in Australia, in Queensland, we use this notation. You may have seen this symbol before, mu is mean. That's for the population. So this is, it's like a U with a tail at the front. Population mean. In this question, the population mean is 26.64 years. So that's going to be useful for determining if our sample mean. Sample mean is capital X with a bar over the top. We don't know what that is. Um, the number in the sample is a little n and in this it's 70 YouTubers. We then have standard deviation which is omega. This is the population standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of spread. Watch some one of my other videos to fit, learn more about that or another video online. In this question, the standard deviation of the population is 26. Oh, I should have written what this is. This is the number of people who have uh, the sample standard deviation, which is sometimes S, sometimes it's omega with an X bar like that. Uh, another symbol is P, so that's the probability. First of all, we need to figure out the sample standard deviation. So we don't know that. So we can use this rule. The sample standard deviation is the normal standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So in this, it's 12.6 divided by the square root of 70. 12.6 divided by 70. Nine, nine. That is the sample standard deviation. So the spread of the sample is not very big. It's a small number, so the spread is quite small. Okay, next we want to find out if, if this mean that we don't know is within the spread 24 to 30. So is it in there? So to write this in math language, we're trying to figure out the probability x bar is greater or equal to 24 and less than or equal to 30. So it's within those. So we can now type this into the TI calc. Okay, so in your TI, go menu, stats, 
distributions, confidence distribution. Okay, so the lower bound is 24, the upper bound is 30, our mean for the, so you can see the little mu symbol, question gave us that, it was 26.64, 26.64, and we figured out the standard deviation for the, um, what's it called, for the sample and the standard deviation. Using CDF, it's approximately 94.7% chance that the mean is in those age limits. It's 97%. Okay, so we're going to try and figure out what this age is. So th this is where we use this thing called inverse norm. We will need to find the sample standard deviation again, because we've got a new sample. So the last one, still 12.6. This time we've got 120 YouTubers. So I'm just going to use one note this time. 12.6 divided by square root of 120 equals, there you go. Inverse norm now. Now that we have the sample standard deviation. So if you go menu, stats, um, distributions, inverse normal, so before you do inverse norm, probably need to look at visually what this is. So this is a normal curve. This is the mean. We want to know the probability that the mean age of this YouTube is, is greater than a certain age. So we don't know this certain age. So we want to know the probability so if this is equal to 0 0.97, that area under the curve. So we know the mean is that. We just figured out the sample standard deviation. And 1 minus 0 0.97 gives us the area. OK, so that's the age. 24.4771 years. Using inverse norm, the certain age was 771. Thanks for watching.